Proverbs 22, 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. It is what you have trained a child from the beginning. That he will not be able to depart from. Praise the Lord. But you that want to teach godly values, do you have that godly value? You have that godly value in you. Because if we look at our lives, you will discover that there are some things that the unbelievers that the unbelievers will never try to do that Christians are doing he will say grace cover you grace cover you let me tell you the grace of God is there for you to do the will of God not to continue in sin not to continue in sin if you cannot live an exemplary life you cannot be a good mother you cannot influence your children for good because our children learn more by observation than listening the way you dress your carriage the, way, the type of friends you have a child that knows that Maybe when there was problem in the in the in the school. Come on, baby, I teach you. Come on, baby, I need a little courage. Instead of you to go down there, Kakaki, walk your lost sibe and see what the problem is. Come on, we should go to there. You gave him or her money. Wa fun lowo to bribe the lecturer. Last if she to do this to do that. Last if one want look for it. Last if one lowo last if she lay. Like me, that that child will not see anything wrong. Iru amo be koriri a she she koko in doing fraud he will not see anything wrong because there is something in children's life the, the conscience is there that he will look at and say if my mother can do this so what is wrong in me defrauding somebody in this end time we need to protect our children's mind i said we need to provide an enabling environment so that you'll be able to protect their mind what are the books you are reading what type of books are you reading because the type of book you read your children will see and pick up and read some people that have these pornograph pornographic pictures at home their children too will pick it up and begin to look at the picture some of them that is how the demon of rape enter into them and they will go about raping people what type of movie do you buy for them you say it doesn't matter what type of cloth do you buy what type of friends do you keep if it does not matter to you to have unbelievers as friends not because you want to preach to them but just to go party with them to do business with them your children will not see anything wrong in having unbelievers as friends if you disobey their father in their presence if you are not submissive to their father their father does not need to call them and tell them they know they see what you are doing that you are preparing them for their own marriage negatively you are preparing them for their own marriage negatively God brought men 
a man and woman together to be able to raise a balanced child i can tell you from experience woman cannot do it alone no matter how hard you are no matter how disciplined you are there is a grace god has given to men maybe you have been talking to your child you've been warning him or her don't do this again I've been warning you just let the father appear I'm talking about a responsible man just let the father appear the child will sit up the child will sit up but when the child discover that you are not even in agreement with his or her father when the father is trying to discipline in the presence of that child will be saying ah, ah, I'm a woman for me you don't kill this child for me ah, ah, you are too difficult you are too this you are too troublesome don't kill my child eh, you have just given that child a license to manipulate your marriage because you are telling the child that I am on, on your side you are telling the child that your father hates you and you, you, by, that, by doing that you have failed in your responsibility as a mother I pray the Lord will forgive us in the name of Jesus our little children the Lord will give us grace to begin to harvest them for the Lord Jesus Christ before the devil take hold of them you go to school these days all type of things is going on many children have been bewitched and sometimes when our children come back home and say mommy something happened today see I am tired job leave me alone <laughs> the second day say mommy but I wanted to tell you something yesterday okay don't worry tomorrow I will listen to you you keep postponing it you keep postponing it until tragedy strikes it won't be your lot in the name of Jesus it's not your portion in the name of Jesus a child has been telling the mother mommy there's something I want to tell you not knowing that the house boy has been abusing the child he has been abusing the child get her pregnant and we go and abort until the life of that girl was totally destroyed it is true that we need to provide for them we need money to take care of them but I'm praying for you that the grace and power of the Holy Spirit to balance it the Lord will give you in the name of Jesus when I was growing up I know a family the woman yes a widow has two girls she sells local pap and that is what she used to train these two girls I remember very well that sometimes she has to go to the rail line to pick vegetables to cook for these children but to the glory of God because she was a Christian she's late now because she was a Christian those two girls turn out well even though they were, were living in a, they were living in a notorious environment very notorious environment they didn't get pregnant they married properly they 
because she set her priorities right most of the things we are looking for, we, we, we are running elter skelter for they will not matter again when problem arises over the children they will not matter again you may want to sell those things and you won't see anybody to, to buy even if you get buyers can it make up for the life that has been ruined I pray we will not stand judgment because of our children in the name of Jesus we will not be thrown into the lake of fire because of our children in the name of Jesus God has entrusted these precious lives into our hands and he has endowed women with all we need to care for our children above all we have the Lord Jesus Christ which is more than enough because whoever has Jesus has life abundantly all that you need to train your children to bring them up in a godly manner to be a godly woman indeed to be a godly mother indeed everything is in Jesus to the glory of God everything is in Jesus and it will not disappoint you it will not disappoint you in the name of Jesus in conclusion let's open to John chapter 15 John chapter 15 we are reading from verse 4 said abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. E ma gbe inu mi, emi o si ma gbe inu yin. Gẹ bi e ka ko ti le so e so fun ara re. Bi ko se pe o ba n gbe inu ajara. Be eni eyin bi ko se pe e ba n gbe inu mi. That is, o tu mo si pe whatsoever you are looking for outside Jesus Christ. O ko to ba wa ni egbe ita ba n gba Jesus Christ. It's a waste of time and a waste of life. O ja akoko ati aye to sofo ni. Whatsoever you want to achieve. O ko to ba fe ni without having Jesus Christ in your life la ni Jesus ninu aye re a waste of time o je akoko to fi sofo ni and a waste of life ataye to fi sofo a waste of time on heart a a akoko to fi sofo ni ori na ye a waste of life eventually awa je aye to sofo ni orun praise the lord en yin oluwa what we need to do ki lo ta wa ni lo lati se as Christian, Christian that have known the Lord Jesus Christ is to be steadfast I know there may be challenges problems, problems. there have been a time in my life but that we don't eat more than <laughs> because we, i want us to eat balanced diet we eat concussion rice and beans concussion then vegetable concussion and to the glory of god god sustain us and yet there are families beside me that have all the money yet what god what jesus christ achieved through me they couldn't achieve it to the glory of god that is why i can tell you confidently that all you need and all you need is in christ jesus abide in me and I in you you want to bear fruit you want to reap the fruit of your labor you want to be the mother of your children you want to be alive you want to be alive on the day of your goodness all you need to do is in Christ Jesus 
steadfastness iju asisi means that o tun ma si pe whatever who come what me o kon to ko sele nothing can drag me away from jesus o so to ma fa ya mi ya jesu if family go let them go ti e bi mi ma fe lo je kon ma lo every time fire 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 gbogbo igba yi no sha every time prayer prayer igbogbo igba ju e sha every time fasting fasting gbogbo igba o e sha ni see what is bring she is bringing out of those things a ori ra bo ra bo re but today sugbon loni they want to serve my god o fe sin olorun mi they want to serve the god of mountain of fire and miracle ministry won fe sin olorun ijori oke na ti se loni some of some of the people they were mocking me i want to want come in by eh they were coming to ask me how did you how did you do it won wan gba won bi ba wo lo se sele ba wo lo se se that time that your son was 15 years old ni gba yo mo mi o jo mo du me dogun how did you handle him ba wo lo se toju e papa when he was 7 years old ni pa to je o mo du meje how do you handle him ba wo lo se toju e and i'll begin to teach them ma o ma ko won leko sometimes i beat igba mi ma na won with ken ma na Sometimes I beat with the word of God. Sometimes I beg. I will beg. Mama be won. Say please for your own sake. Mani e jo ni tori ti ni. Look at what is written in the Bible. Won ti bi be li so. You can't live your life like this. O le ge gba aye e ba yi. If truly you want to be what you have told me to you want to be. Pe bo lo to o to fe da o to so fun mi yen ni. You have to follow the word of god oni lati tele oro olorun o you have to do the will of god oni lati se ife olorun ni you have to live your life according to the word of god oni lati pe gbe aye gege bi oro olorun and i begin to tell them